I need to change these colors because magenta and yellow do not fit my standards. So the first thing I'll do is open the CNM layer settings, which will bring up a text file that's meh, understandable uh, if I really try hard. Luckily up at the very top is the keynotes table. Uh, then nobody ever uses this imported. Then there's a grid that's not showing right now. But if it were, I could change its color. I could also change the layer names because we don't use uh, National CAD standard or AIA. So I can do that too. I won't do that. Um, and the bubble notes. So all the things, the very most important things I need for CNM itself are right at the top. For the moment, I'm going to change these, uh, the, this uh, keynotes table to... Uh, Four for cyan. I'll change the grid to four, which we can't see at the moment. I'll change these quantities to four also. And uh, save that. It says OK to import layer settings. I'll click OK. Maybe it'll just change them right off the bat. And maybe it won't. So let's try refreshing. Oh no. It's taking a while to import things. Okay, I can see things. Ah, I can see things. Okay, now it's done. Oh, and it did change them. All right. There's an exception to the simplicity of changing layer colors and names in this layer settings uh, file. And that is that there are some layers that have names. There are some objects on layers inside of this block. And that's so that you can freeze them and turn them off easily with the dialog box. I'll show you. Let's turn on, under options, the uh, grid lines and the quantities are already shown. Well, that's simple thawing and freezing that, that's happening underneath. If we refresh the table, And I'm going to leave it long for now. And we show the grid. It's clear that I forgot one other thing. I'm going to make the distance between the text heights 3 so that the grid actually makes sense. And then refresh it one more time. Okay. We have actually a usable table here. And if, I, if my standard doesn't allow for um, the these names, oh, not that, layer settings. If my standard doesn't allow for these names for the grid and the quantities, then I'm going to need to go in and change that. And uh, so I'll go into my layer settings and uh, look for C HCNM, filter for that those names, and then Uh, which I already did, and it's H star HCNM star, and change this uh, to maybe you want CNM QTY, and maybe you want uh, CNM grid. Okay, and uh, that's fine, right? That's just that's fine and dandy, and um, we can edit the block. Oh, no, let me select it so I don't have to worry. Be edit with the block selected. Got my hands in the wrong spot. Okay, be edit. Now when I click on this. Um, it's CNM QTY. When I click on this, it's CNM Grid. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but when I go to my layer settings, it's now no longer linked. So I have to do both. I have to rename it in my drawing and or in my block, and I have to rename it here in the file. 
Now, I guess it goes without saying, since you know how to use AutoCAD, that you're going to need to write that block to disk if you want it to work for your whole company and not just this drawing. All right, I've saved that. So now, since those t t names match, I should be able to um, go into CNM options and turn off the quantities and turn off the grid, and it'll find my my you know my custom names and so let's turn off the grid lines let's turn off the quantities and let's refresh the table and uh, see what we get and freeze okay and that's it that's the nuance that the exception to the CNM layer settings file is you have to edit both the drawing and the layer settings file if you ch want to change the names of those uh, names names of those of the layer of those objects inside the block and that's the end thank you